Okay, so this is a quick video for scaling an image to a correct size um, inside of Revit. So in particular, this is if I have, let's say something coming out of Google Earth or Google Maps, a screen grab, and I have a known dimension, or in the case that I'm going to walk through something maybe slightly better than a napkin sketch that I want to bring in and use as a background template to start modeling over the top of. Um, again, when I import an image, so I'm underneath the insert tab, import image. Uh, an image is just something that is raster based, right? It has no idea what it is. It doesn't know its size, basically nothing, right? So this is just a really rough sketch of a tiny house that I'm working on. Um, I've done some quick calculations um, that have helped me determine that I, I want about 12 feet of width from edge to edge, out to out, in this particular location. Um, and so, uh, my handwriting is awful. Um, Procreate doesn't help that with the slick pencil, but it's, it's, this, it's a good starting point. And as a starting point goes, this is something that I, I just, sometimes it's really helpful to have an underlay inside of Revit, especially if you're early to learning Revit. But right now, um, out to out, if I do a quick measurement, is um, 30 feet, so nowhere close. Um, I could start applying scale factors to this, or I could use what I very much prefer, and that is sort of a visually based scaling system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a few annotation lines. So annotate detail line. And I'm just going to go roughly from out here. And then I am going to extend draw another line over and you know this is, isn't even rotated correctly but you know it's going to be close enough because this is a bad sketch y'all it's not a good sketch um i have these two lines and they are same size same base um currently they are 29 feet six inches ish apart but i know i want that to be 12 feet so what i'm going to do next is modify offset 12 feet and I'm going to hover to the inside of this annotation line. And that dashed line there with modify shows me where it's going to end up before I left click. And so I have essentially two lines are what I have. The next two lines are what I want. So I'm going to select my image and I'm going to select the scale tool. I'm going to start at the base of my first line. And this is going to set the base about which the raster image is going to scale. So it's sort of the new center of it, if you would. So left click once to establish my base point, left click again to establish what I currently have, a third left click for what I would like that dimension to be. So really quickly, a one, two, three click brings that into the exact scale that I want. I can delete my guidelines and I now have an underlay that is as accurate as the current sketch can be in terms of building over the top. 